A good friend of mine once said, you know, John, it's really hard to find a truly good cause. ACES, its mission of education, preservation, and restoration, is that kind of good, no great, really great cause. It's important, and there's never been a better time than now for you to support it. As such an influential organization, we really can set a standard for what it means to be environmentally sound and passionate. For more than 40 years, Aspen Center for Environmental Studies has introduced tens of thousands of people to the ways of the natural world. Our mission is simply to inspire a lifelong commitment to the earth by educating for environmental responsibility. Conserving and restoring the balance of natural communities. And to advance the ethic that our earth must be respected and nurtured. Together, ACES Foresights facilitate our mission of teaching the science, tools, leadership, and values of environmental stewardship. ACES was the third vital organization created by Elizabeth Pepka, who co-founded the Aspen Institute and the Aspen Music Festival with her husband, Walter. In the first year of operations, Elizabeth Pepka recruited Jody Cardamone, and then her husband, Tom, as ACES' first resident naturalists. Jody and Tom's unique approach to environmental education is science-based, thoughtful, and has proven to be very effective. The heart of ACE's work is to instill that same deep sense of caring for the earth and all its life that we innately have for our own home and our family. ACE's perfectly embodies the idea of mind, body, and spirit that was so important to my parents. When my mother was already close to 90, She'd been planting trees all her life. A neighbor said to her, but Mrs. Papka, there's no way you will live long enough to see those trees. And she said, no, but somebody else will. Elizabeth's simple act, getting her hands dirty while planting trees, even into her late 80s, exemplified her strong sense of reciprocity with nature. She was insistent that we all engage in that important kind of work. Each one of us can do something. It is our responsibility, in fact. Healing will come only if the millions of individuals do not give up, but carry on properly wherever they may be. What I love about the current ACEs generation is that they've really taken Elizabeth Pepka's words to heart, that healing the earth with wildland conservation and restoration really gives all of us a sense of joy and purpose in our jobs, but also a broader sense of hope for the future. ACES began with Hallam Lake, a wild sanctuary hidden in the heart of Aspen. This verdant wetland preserve is only three blocks from downtown Aspen. It is easily accessed by school groups and visitors, yet it is remarkably rich in native flora and fauna. The Caddo Center at Toklot, a wilderness retreat high in Castle Creek Valley, is ACE's gathering place for inspired environmental leadership. A revered community asset, Toklot has enjoyed a long tradition as a retreat for the Aspen Institute and other groups seeking a connection with nature. Rock Bottom Ranch is ACE's model for sustainable agriculture, practiced hand in hand with environmental education. Located mid-valley between the Roaring Fork River and Mount Sopris, Rock Bottom Ranch is where community vitality, local food production, and wildlife habitat converge in harmony. ACES Spring Creek is a 160-acre ecological sanctuary with an abundant freshwater spring. Its diverse ecology makes it an ideal future location for college and graduate level studies. Spring Creek's programs are informed by the Native American values of reciprocity and respect for the earth. ACES Environmental Education Program teaches science to children in 42 schools throughout the region. It's exciting to be able to share aspects of nature with kids. To be able to see a student look at something for the first time and the expression on their face to be able to experience those things with them firsthand as well. It really renews my own sense of wonder and hope for the future. And I think that is why 
I teach environmental education and why I've always been so proud to be at ACES. For several years, while the kids were young and in elementary school, they came to ACES on school field trips, and I think that was a big influence on where they wanted to give their money. My mom would give us allowance, and a certain portion of that allowance, I always gave mine to ACES because I really wanted to help the birds that were injured, and I really wanted to make a difference for them. And I remember walking into the big coin jar that's right inside and just dumping it all in there and then feeling really good because I really felt like I was saving birds' lives. Our naturalist program is a career stepping stone for the brightest graduates from the best universities. Our outreach to the general public includes continuing education courses, seminars, and retreats through ACES' very popular Naturalist Field School. We partner with landowners, nonprofits, and governments for important ecosystem restoration projects like those at Warren Lakes, North Star Preserve, and the Hope Mine. ACES Green Energy Projects provide teaching opportunities in hydropower, geothermal, solar, and energy conservation methods. We want to serve as a model for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. For example, ACES Micro Hydro System at Toklat and Solar Water Heating System at Rock Bottom Ranch are small power plants that move us toward energy self-sufficiency. ACES' newest program, For the Forest, provides cutting-edge science and education on forest health issues. Like ACES' other programs, this work will have increasing relevance as the effects of climate change become more apparent. Looking back, we're really gratified to discover just how far and wide ACES' influence has spread beyond Aspen. Many environmental centers, education programs, and policymakers have been inspired by ACES work. Today, ACES alumni are conservation and education leaders around the world. Over four decades, Aspen residents and visitors of all ages have kept ACES vision alive through their active involvement and generous giving, some by lending their names to programs, facilities, and endowments. I've been uh, a beneficiary, an enthusiast, a supporter of ACES for 20 years now. It's truly entrepreneurial. I like to define entrepreneurs as those who do more than anyone thinks possible with less than anyone thinks possible. Uh, this is an extraordinary organization, a gentle organization, an effective organization, and that's why I ask you to join me in supporting their great work. ACES is going places. Important work has to be done to conserve and restore our natural lands, to educate the next generation of environmental stewards, and to instill hope for a healthy future. We need your help to see ACES' mission through Let's do this together. Please join us. Please join us. Please join us.